In a world fueled by dreams and powered by innovation, where does the true power reside? From Japan's resilient Kashiwazaki Kariwa to Canada's pioneering Bruce Nuclear Generating Station, the answers await. Join us on an extraordinary journey as we unveil the guardians of our future. Here are the top seven nuclear powers around the world. At number seven, we have the Paluel Nuclear Power Plant. In the serene landscapes of Normandy, France, nestled along the shores of the English Channel, lies a bastion of power and ingenuity, the Paluel Nuclear Power Plant, with a gross installed capacity of 5,280 megawatts. This facility stands as a testament to France's commitment to clean and efficient energy production. Operated by the renowned French company EDF, Paluel boasts four pressurized water reactors, each capable of generating 1,330 megawatts of electric power. Drawing its cooling waters from the nearby English Channel, Paluel ensures that its operations remain efficient and sustainable. Yet, like any endeavor of great magnitude, Paluel has faced its share of challenges. Blockages in the cooling system, caused by seasonal macroalgae, once posed a threat to its operations. In 2016, a 450-ton steam generator fell during maintenance, causing delays in the plant's operations. But with resilience and determination, the team overcame these obstacles. Today, the four reactors of Paliwell continue to stand tall, a testament to the dedication and expertise of its workforce. Coming in at number six on our list of nuclear wonders, and guess what? We find ourselves in France once again, exploring the remarkable Gravelines nuclear power plant. With a staggering capacity of 5,460 megawatts spread across six pressurized water reactors, each with a capacity of 900 megawatts, Gravelines stands as a titan among its peers, illuminating homes and businesses with its steadfast energy. Since its inception in the early 1980s, Gravelines has been a cornerstone of France's energy landscape, illuminating homes and industries with 31 terawatt hours of electricity annually as per 2017 record, contributing to 5.9% of French electricity production. On August 2, 2010, Gravelines etched its name in history, becoming only the second nuclear station worldwide to generate over 1,000 terawatt hours of electricity, a testament to its enduring impact. But its impact extends beyond the realm of electricity. Drawing cooling water from the azure depths of the North Sea, the station not only sustains its operations, but also supports local aqua farmers by utilizing the warm water for aquaculture, fostering a thriving ecosystem of European sea bass and gilt head breams. As we venture into the tranquil landscapes of southeastern Ukraine, nestled along the banks of the majestic Dnieper River, we encounter the Zaporizhia nuclear power plant, our number five on this remarkable journey. Zaporizhia nuclear power plant proudly holds the title of the largest nuclear power plant in Europe and ranks fifth globally. Its six reactors, each boasting a generating capacity of 950 megawatts, collectively churn out a staggering 5,700 megawatts of power, illuminating the lives of over 4 million households. Operating on cutting-edge VVR-1000 pressurized water reactor technology, these reactors are the silent sentinels of Ukraine's energy needs. Despite its formidable stature, Zaporizhia nuclear power plant hasn't been immune to the tumultuous events unfolding in Ukraine. Recent conflicts have necessitated precautionary shutdowns, with all six reactors currently offline since September 11, 2023. The plant's resilience, however, shines through amidst adversity as it copes with disruptions to power supply lines and relies on emergency diesel generators to keep essential functions running. Embark on a journey to the vibrant landscapes of South Korea's Jolanam Do province, where the Hanbit nuclear power plant, our number four on this electrifying expedition, stands as a symbol of innovation and energy prowess. The Hanbit nuclear power plant boasts an impressive installed capacity of 5,875 megawatts, firmly securing its position as the fourth largest nuclear power station globally. Originally known as the Yongguang nuclear power plant, its name was gracefully changed to Hanbit in 2013. At the heart of Hanbit's operations are its six pressurized water reactors, each a marvel of engineering ingenuity. Hanbit-1 and Hanbit-2 reactors 
are three-loop Westinghouse-designed plants. Hanbit-3 and Hanbit-4 reactors are two-loop combustion engineering system 80 plants, and the remaining Hanbit-5 and Hanbit-6 reactors are based on the Ulchin Unit 3 OPR-1000 Korean Standard Nuclear Power Plant design. In November 2012, the plant was rocked by an alarming revelation. Eight suppliers had forged quality certificates for delivered items. As a result, two reactors were forced to shut down for extensive checks for an expected eight weeks, highlighting the critical importance of stringent quality control measures in nuclear operations. Here comes the number three, Hanul Nuclear Power Plant. Just like our previous stop, Hanul also proudly stands on South Korean soil. Situated within the breathtaking landscapes of Gyeongsangbuk-do province, the Hanul Nuclear Power Plant, once known as the Uljin Nuclear Power Plant, stands tall as a symbol of South Korea's commitment to clean and sustainable energy solutions. With an impressive installed capacity of 6,189 megawatts, it proudly holds the esteemed title of the third largest nuclear power plant globally and the largest in South Korea currently operates six pressurized water reactors with a total gross installed capacity of 5,881 megawatts. The Hanul's journey began in 1988 when its first reactor came online, marking the dawn of a new era in South Korea's energy landscape. At the heart of these groundbreaking developments lies the APR-1400 reactor, a marvel of engineering innovation. With a gross capacity of 1,400 megawatts, it represents the pinnacle of Generation the Third PWR design, showcasing South Korea's expertise in nuclear technology. Our number two is Bruce Nuclear Generating Station, a powerhouse of clean energy and technological marvel. Nestled on the eastern shores of Lake Huron, the Bruce Nuclear Generating Station sprawls across an impressive 932 hectares of land, a staggering nameplate capacity of 6,550 megawatts. With a grand total of eight Canada deuterium uranium pressurized heavy water reactors, the Bruce Station holds the prestigious title of being the second largest nuclear power plant globally. These reactors, ranging in capacity from 786 megawatts to 891 megawatts, form the backbone of Ontario's power infrastructure. Each reactor at Bruce demands 6,240 fuel bundles, collectively weighing approximately 140 tons to sustain its operations. In 2018 alone, it churned out a remarkable 48,169 gigawatt hours of electricity, contributing significantly to Ontario's power grid. Serving as the largest employer in Bruce County, the station provides livelihoods for over 4,000 dedicated workers. Originally constructed between 1970 and 1987 by Ontario Hydro, the station recognized for its unwavering commitment to safety. Now we have our number one contender, the Kashiwazaki Kariwa Nuclear Power Plant. Spanning across a sprawling 4.2 square kilometer site, this nuclear power plant commands attention in the towns of Kashiwazaki and Kariwa. It is owned and operated by the esteemed Tokyo Electric Power Company. Its sheer size and capacity, boasting a total nameplate capacity of 7,965 megawatts, comprises seven boiling water reactors with a gross installed capacity of 8,212 megawatts, underscore its significance on the global stage. At the heart of the plant lies the pioneering Advanced Boiling Water Reactor, an innovative design that sets new standards in efficiency and safety for nuclear power generation. In a testament to its resilience, the plant weathered the formidable Chuetsu offshore earthquake of July 16, 2007, with its epicenter a mere 19 kilometers away. The earthquake, registering magnitude 6.6, was one of the strongest to impact a nuclear power plant directly. Despite the seismic upheaval, the plant underwent meticulous inspection and seismic upgrades, reaffirming its commitment to safety. However, the events of the March 2011 earthquake prompted a re-evaluation, leading to the shutdown of all units for comprehensive safety enhancements. As of 2024, Tokyo Electric Power Company eagerly awaits local authorities' permission to breathe life back into the plant, and that concludes our journey through the top seven nuclear power plants worldwide. If you enjoyed learning about these incredible feats of engineering, 
Don't forget to subscribe and give us a thumbs up if you think we've earned it.